Yeah. I've just been getting phone calls. What y'all gonna do about the school system? Diana's on TV saying we're gonna do this and that. That's what do you know about it? <laughs> Well, the EAC does, somebody from the EAC wants to come to the next meeting, uh, the 22nd, <coughs> to do a presentation to the whole council and the mayor, so they'll, they'll hear a lot more about it. Okay. Basically, the e and I had to miss the last EAC meeting, but there's, um, you know, three alternatives that we need to look at if we truly want to be in the, quote, top 10 school systems in the state of Alabama. Because we keep saying that. The mayor keeps saying that, but we don't put any teeth behind it. We can say that all day long. We can say that's our goal, but if you don't put anything behind it, like we don't take action, then it's never going to happen. So this council needs to say, do you really want to say you want to do that? Right, or stop saying it. Right. Otherwise, it's an empty proclamation. Right, and it sounds good. Right, sounds good, but if you don't put anything behind it, it's nothing more than that, just a, it's an empty <laughs> proclamation. That, oh, we're going to be in the top 10. We want to be in the top 10. Do we? Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, there were some, you know, we didn't, we didn't perform well if you look at where we were listed, but there were some things that were left out this past year that we didn't get credit for. Uh, what was that? Yeah, the, um, the state of Alabama does not submit AP scores. AP, the AP, like I said, they, there are three <coughs> alternatives we can stay as we are, status quo, and just be happy with that. And we need to stop saying that our goal is to be in the top ten, because I've said it three times already. It's an empty proclamation if we don't put anything behind it. Or we can look at a special tax district, which will allow us to raise about, it's about $1.3 million um, just for Fairhope schools that would stay, you know, that we could, the money would be collected by Baldwin County, but it would be used for Fairhope schools. That'll get you about eight teachers, or we can, or seven teachers, or um, you know, we can update the information that we did back in 2010 to see what it would cost to, and to see if there's any interest in the city school system. I don't think that we ought to go back with the same consultant who did the one before, because even though he is supposedly the expert in the state, you know, I feel like his, that he just pulls the study off the shelf and puts a different municipality on it. Um, but I, and I don't think we need to spend $25,000 to do it either. I think that we could probably do it for a whole lot less. We're going to hear more on this in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. the EAC, that purpose is to get a city school system all along. I've oh, heard right. that. I've heard that. Well, I mean, I've heard, heard that, Mike. It's not true. And, and they didn't hear the people say, no more taxes. <coughs> oh yeah, but Mike, you, you're you're not hearing what I'm saying. That what what I'm saying is that the people of Fairhope do want a better school, <coughs> and so we're saying that you know how are you going to go about getting that? You can't just keep saying that and not be willing to do something different. But I'm just saying that we have a good school system. Oh. We have a good school system. That's right. Nobody's saying we don't have a good school system. Well, it seems to me that ever since I've been on here, we've had a group, the same group in the last 20 years, inching every time that when they get knocked back on having their own school system, they come in a different way, which is good tactics. Look at whatever you want. I mean, that's just not that's not the case, and that's what that's not the case with the EAC. For the last two years, that has not been the case. In fact, we, the EAC is the one that came to this council and asked this council to support, to pass a resolution in support of the tax for the entire county. We were the first municipality to ask to do that. We've already given some money to the schools to help, right? We give three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Can't we? Can't. What you know, tax do you charge that? that? District tax. That would be every any city in Alabama by law is allowed to form its own special How much tax. taxes would you request? Three, that's three mills. If that's all you can do is three mills. But again, we're not dealing with current information even if we wanted to talk about a city school system. And I'm not saying we would. I'm saying we're not dealing with we're not dealing with current numbers even if we want we can't even have an intelligent discussion about it because we don't even know what the numbers are. But you know, and even have a school board. I mean, couldn't agree more. Huh? But that's not that's not our issue. Yes, it is. 
No, we have one representative on the school board. One. No. Yeah, but I say, and when you say it's not our, we're all citizens. It is our, but we can do something. Diana, do you have any other committee reports?